Developing right now, a father and daughter are dead, and police are looking for the man who killed them over a car. Police say they got into a dispute at the Freedom Park Apartments in the city of South Fulton. Channel 2's Audrey Washington is live now on Delano Road, where the shooter fired in broad daylight, Audrey. And that's partly what makes this double homicide so tragic, just how brazen and senseless it was. As you said, it all happened here inside the Freedom Park Apartments here in the city of South Fulton. Police tell us it all started with the car sale and ended with a father and his daughter dead. You take around and take my baby brother life and his baby girl life. Nancy Gibson can't believe it. On the same day of her brother's birthday, she's now grieving his death. We're trying to hold him the best way we can. Best way we can. Well, According to City of South Fulton Police, on Sunday, Stanley Neely and his daughter, Heather Neely, drove here to the Freedom Park Apartments on Delano Road to sell a car to a man. How Stanley met the man is still unknown. He knew my brother. Real good. Investigators say a dispute ensued between the man and Stanley about the car payment. Then police tell me that man just opened fire. First he shot Stanley and then Heather. Both father and daughter died at the scene. When my baby sister called me and told me that my baby, our baby brother in, in hell got shot. The suspect simply took off. Monday, we found crime scene tape and several bullet holes near the area of the double homicide. Police issued warrants for the suspect's arrest, but did not release his name. He is still on the loose. Whoever did this, like, you know who you are. Anybody else that knows something, like, please say something. You need to pay for what he did. Now, it's still unclear whether someone is hiding the suspect or whether he is still even in the area. And we, of course, will stay on top of this story and this investigation. And we are live here in the city of South Fulton tonight. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.